Good morning, Mad World. It's me, Coach Sess. Doing a little bit of a brainstorm this morning. And to put you, uh, to get you to where I'm, I am in terms of what a brainstorm is, this is what I do in terms of making digital notes. So I'm not really here to make a statement as much as I'm just making notes about a particular subject. And what I do is I just talk. I find my voice, I find my concept, and I find my why. Why do I want to talk about a particular subject? Why do I brainstorm it? One reason I brainstorm it is because um, I need someone to bounce ideas off of. And sometimes you just can't find that person in the real world. That should tell you a lot about your circle of friends. Now, it doesn't mean that you are greater, they're less, or vice versa. It just means that this is probably a subject that a lot of people don't give a lot of thought about. Now, let's say that, you know, especially in martial arts, and you are, you know, into... Uh, let's say in jujitsu, and you really wanted to know more about the intricacies of shrimping. That's not a subject that a lot of people are going to put a lot of thought into. Or even if they're experts of many, many years, you're not going to find that one particular instructor available to you that's going to have that conversation. You know, and, and let's say you go to YouTube, you downloaded every book. Um, and you just can't find enough in terms of that particular uh, subject or the aspect of shrimping that you want to know about. And for anyone listening to this who is not into jujitsu, shrimping is simply a move of a way of moving your hips and uh, to escape your opponent to um, take away pressure from being on top of your body. And you want to know more about this subject because there's a particular aspect of this movement that haunts you, that um, you see room for improvement, or you're on to something in terms of a better way to do it, but it's something that's triggering you to follow this notion. But you just don't have anyone to talk about talk about it with. So that's what a brainstorm is. It's this, this is the other me. All right, this is the other subject matter expert that I'm going to talk to, bounce things off of. And so it, after I talk about the subject for a while, I come back, I listen to it. Okay, I listen to it. And then from a analytical point of view, an analytical mind, I dissect everything that I put into the brainstorm that could be, you know, misleading, erroneous, without any context. <clears throat> so I go back and I listen to my own words and I say, well, maybe I found some information about this subject. I just didn't want to agree with it. Or it's taking me down a different rabbit hole. It's, this is doing, doing a digital note-taking system like this is very similar to videotaping all of your training sessions. When you videotape your training sessions, you cannot dispute the content. You can say, I know I was doing this. Um, I felt like I was doing that right. Uh, I need to work on that. And when we have this romantic view of ourselves without any documentation, we tend to always put ourselves in the, you know, in the greater perspective that, you know, we're the good guy. We're always winning. We're always doing things right. So if anyone had any feedback, they were just being a hater. The video does not lie to you. You know, if you said, hey, I, I move my feet all the time, and you play back the video, you find out that you don't move as much as you think. And that's what this is um, from a digital uh, point of view, uh, audio, digital audio point of view. That's all this is, this note taking. This is a good way for me to go back and listen and evaluate my points and break things down so I could make better content, really, because that's what you're doing with the video. You're going back to 
improve everything. So I do a, a, a digital brainstorm about particular subjects that I care about or that, you know, are new, relatively new to me and sometimes just a new way of thinking in the field that I'm particularly interested in. I'm Coach Sess, and you've had words with the Mad Coach.